Snow time, pack antics, paws fling powder, familiar noses meet, a flash of teeth, days of hunting across icy, frost-crystalled forage lands, journeys of trust and honed intuition through swirling, whitened expanses in search of sustenance. Bound by hearts and ancient hierarchies, their language is swept up into passages of winter's winds, where mix the echoes of the older kin, a raw melange of mournful remembrances. Where once stood generations of these apex predators ranging across plains and forested tracts has settled in a time of vanishing. So too have gone the great elk and bison herds, the beaver, the mighty grizzly, and the prairie dog, trapped, poisoned, gassed, and shot by the perpetrators of a ruthless progress that savaged the land and its first inhabitants. A legacy of slaughter and fragmentation that stretches from the first trapper's fur piles and Buffalo Bill road shows, across a trail of tears and railway shooting sprees, to the wildlife slaughter derby award ceremonies, the cockpits of aerial gun jockeys and the offices of the USDA. The freedom once found in wild abundance still hangs in the misty morning breath of those wolves who yet endure. It is a freedom feared by an angry, wired-in, domesticated man, drunk and gunning into a future of toxic, smoldering cages of mass production, disheveled high-tech security blankets choking out fauna like the spreading copper rhizomes of some coal-fired invasive weed. Before gazing into the eyes of the destroyers of the free earth, look first to those who still know the wild as home, those whose confident strides find surety in the breezy grassland ripples and grace in love's untamed coordination. Here there is no self-conscious pause at the threshold, no trembling hands or ceaseless unspoken questions, should I go and how shall I go? Instead there are the liquid movements of a fierce and beautiful camaraderie joined in common fate bounding down the mountainside.